and welcome back to Crafts with V. I have loved seeing all the pictures and videos of the crafts that you've been making. You guys are absolutely amazing. So keep sending me your pictures and showing me your crafts because you are so clever at all the things you do. Now, today our story focus is the very hungry caterpillar. Do you know that story? He eats lots and lots and lots of food, doesn't he? Before he turns into a butterfly. Wowie, it's such a good story. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll put it in the description below so you can click on the link and go and watch it straight away. It's such a good story. And see how many of the things that the caterpillar eats that you would like to eat. Obviously, the chocolate cake gets a thumbs up from me. But the rest of it, he eats so much stuff, doesn't he? Right, so today we are making our very own Hungry Caterpillar. Would you like to make one like that? Yes! Shall we see what we need and how we're gonna do it? It's very simple. Let's go! Okay, so a few things we need today. We need some red and green paint. We need some pegs. We need some cotton wool, a black pen and some paper. So once you've got all those things ready, the first thing you're going to do is to get your cotton wool ready. So you will need to get your cotton wool and just pull it apart and make it into a little ball, which you will then peg your peg onto. So this will be your paintbrush for today. And all you're gonna do is dip it into the paint and then splodge along to make your very furry, caterpillar <laughs> and just dip it back in if you need to and there you go and then I'm going to make another one so get yourself another clump of cotton wool I've just pulled off and attach it together so that it's ready to stamp so I'll get the red for its face and stamp away there we go and there's our very hungry caterpillar once it's dried you can draw its face on. So let's have a look at what that looks like. And there you have it. We've got his cute little face, his antennae and some legs going along his body. And that's it. I hope that you've had lots of fun making your very hungry caterpillar. He's a very cute one, isn't he? <laughs> and you could make it any way you want. I've done the very hungry caterpillar, so he's got a red face and a green body. But you could do it any colour you wanted. He could be a rainbow caterpillar. I would love to see a rainbow caterpillar. So if one of you makes a rainbow caterpillar, would you send me a picture so I can see it? Thank you very much. And now you know how to use your cotton wool and pegs. You could make any picture you want, couldn't you? You could do flowers, you could do rainbows, you could do dinosaurs, literally anything you want to paint. It's just a cool way of painting, isn't it? So I would love to see what else you create. So send me a picture of whatever you make. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching my video today and I will see you again soon for another craft.